a Wednesday, taking a look outside our weather window. This is a shot of Interstate 15, exit 119, looking at US 20. As you can see, we got that wet ground, wet covered snow floor, and we're looking for some patches of black ice because you have that wind at about 20 miles per hour. You got the water on the road, that's gonna ice over some places. So take it slow, give yourself plenty of room between you and that vehicle in front of you. Winter weather advisory goes until 11 o'clock this morning, stretching through Eastern Idaho from the Arco Desert in through Ashton Island Park area, south to Bear Lake Oneida County, down to the border with Utah. We expect a little bit more snow before it's all said and done. School closures for today, Butte County Schools, Arco, no school for you today. Gray School District, no school for you either. 34 degrees right now in Pocatello with mostly cloudy skies. We talked about that wind at 20 miles per hour. That pushes us down to a feels like temperature of 23 degrees. 34 in through Idaho Falls with cloudy skies and 16 mile per hour winds. Again, it feels like temperature of 24 degrees. Here's a look at some of the temperatures around the region as we wake up on this Wednesday. We're looking at 20 degree weather in through Montpelier, Soda Springs, Jackson, Driggs, Island Park. As we get into the valley, a little bit warmer, not by much. 30s, low 30s, mid 30s. 33 and through the Arco Desert, 35 through Aberdeen and American Falls. Wind speeds, as we mentioned, in the teens for parts of the Upper Valley, 16 through Idaho Falls, 15 through Rexburg. A little bit more brisk is we make our way south, Pocatello, 20 mile per hour winds, same for American Falls and Aberdeen area. Our storm tracker radar showing those snow showers now pushing off towards the east, east of I-15, also into the southeast corner of the state. We're gonna zoom out and show you what's in through the Salt Lake area as well. As you can see, that snow stretches all the way from southern portions of Salt Lake City all the way up the I-15 corridor. So for today, we expect more snow in the morning and then it's going to kind of diminish. We expect clouds the rest of the day. Our daytime high is not much warmer than what we have right now through Idaho Falls, Rex Rexburg, St. Anthony, about 37 for the high today for Pocatello and American Falls. And then more snow showers into the highlands of western Wyoming. Our daytime highs for Jackson, 31, 27 for Afton, 30 for Island Park. And then cloudy skies for much of the day in through the central mountains. Chalice hitting a high of 32, 34 for Salmon, 30 for Stanley. Moving into your Thursday morning, mostly cloudy skies through the Central Mountains, dropping down into the teens for our lows for Chalice, Mackey, Arco, Ledore, Stanley, 20 for a low in Salmon. Teton County, Wyoming and Idaho area, snow showers expected overnight tonight. Island Park hitting a low of 22. This is mainly for Island Park and Yellowstone. Jackson may get in on some of the snow as well, 16 for an overnight low. And then for the Snake River Plain, we expect mostly cloudy skies, chances of snow really diminishing overnight tonight into tomorrow. Overnight lows in the upper valley, upper teens, lower valley, low to mid 20s. As we take a look at our southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast clouds for the rest of the week into the weekend, we're going to get up to 43 for a high on Friday and then here comes that snow again Sunday through Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday in through Blackfoot also with the uh, cloudy skies for the rest of the week and into Saturday as we get up into the 40s by Friday, then it's back into the 30s for those daytime highs. Snow starting up Sunday running through Wednesday. Idaho Falls also with the chances of snow about a 40 40 5% chance on Sunday. That's going to move into Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday as well with highs in the low to mid 30s. Rexburg, we're going to get some snow as well starting up on Sunday, running through Monday, Tuesday, the first part of the work week next week. Teton area, Jackson, Afton, and Driggs, some clouds for the next couple days, but then a chance of snow starting up on Saturday. That's going to last throughout the weekend and into the work week next week. Central Mountains, cloudy skies tomorrow, 33 for the high, 34 for Friday and Saturday. Our next chance of snow coming in a week from today. Deanne?